we don't routinely perform vertebral artery stenting. However, in this patient, the right word was occluded and the left word had a tight stenosis at the origin. Approach from the femoral root proved to be challenging because of the acute angle in the subclavian and the tortuosity of the left vertebral artery. When an exchange maneuver was performed to take the all-star exhaustive wire, the entire system prolapsed in the arch. Therefore, we planned for a left radial approach. The stenosis was crossed with an Traxxas 014 wire and the microcatheter was taken across. Thereafter, an exchange maneuver was performed and an all-star wire was placed across the stenosis. The stiff wire allows precise placement of the stent. A 3 mm balloon angioplasty was performed. A 5 into 15 mm balloon monitored stent was then deployed across the stenosis with good anti-grade flow across the ostium. The procedural complication rate of vertebral artery osteal stenting is way less than carotid artery stenting as per literature. Radial approach appears to be far superior than femoral approach and it provides the necessary support for the balloon plasty and stenting.